What if I can tell you just by looking at you and seeing your habits that I can tell if you're going to be special forces or not? What if there was a way to tell that Michael Jordan was going to become the man that he is today? What if there was a way to tell that Julius Caesar, Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, and all these guys were going to be a force to be reckoned with in life? I'm here today to share five signs with you that you will be special forces. If you are not in the military, these five signs can help you out throughout your daily life also. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Jay. I'm an active duty Green Beret, slowly working my way towards retirement. The intent behind this channel is to share my knowledge and wisdom with the next generation of soft soldiers. So if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe to help me reach that goal. Without wasting any time, guys, let's get into these five signs. Over my 20 years of military service, I've coached, teach, and mentored several thousand soldiers. Every time I sit down with a guy, I can just tell what his future holds based on the things that he's doing, based on his ability to start and finish a task, based on his ability to do a task without cutting corners. I can just tell that, hey, this guy's going to be something one day. This guy's going to go on to become a ranger, a special forces guy, a business owner, so on and so forth. You can just tell just by how that person conducts itself and the things that they do on a regular basis. Today, guys, I'm going to share with you five signs that you too could become special forces. Sign number one, if you are super competitive. Back when I was a squad leader, I had 11 guys working for me. Within that squad, I can tell who was going to go on and do bigger things. There was always one or two guys always competing to be the first ones in from the run. Always competing to do more push-ups. Always competing to come in first on the ruck. When I assigned a task, there was always a couple of guys wanting to be the first one to finish that task to standard. Those guys were super competitive by nature. It can be in the military. It can be in the civilian sector. They are always competing. So if you're a competitor, that's a sign that you too could become a special forces operator. Sign number two that you have what it takes to be a special forces operator if you like to finish what you start. Meaning, you start a task, you finish it. You start a home project, you finish it. You commit to playing sports, you honor it. Even if you suck, you finish the season. You start prepping for SFAS, you finish prepping for SFAS. You start SFAS, you finish SFAS. You don't get selected, you go back until you finish that task, until they tell you you can't come back anymore. You start the Q course, you finish the Q course. You start a book, you finish the book. If it it's within your nature to finish whatever it is that you start, you have what it takes to be a special forces operator. Sign number three, guys, you don't hang out with losers and wannabes. This is what I mean by that. You show me your five closest friends and I will show you who you're going to become. You are who you hang around with. If you hang around a bunch of losers that's not going anywhere or doing anything with their life, it's not going to motivate you to up your game. You're going to stay exactly where you're at. As opposed to if you hang out with a bunch of guys that's successful, that's been selected, that's been to the Q course, that's in the regiment, it's going to motivate you a lot more to be what you're supposed to be. Keep in mind, if you're the smartest, fittest, strongest, and the most accomplished guy within your circle, you probably need a different circle. Staying in that circle only shows signs of incompetence that you don't want any challenge. Number four, guys, if your mind never stops, all right, if you're always strategizing, if you have the what if mindset, then you have what it takes, right? What if I did this? What if I did that? What if I went to selection? What if I went to the Q course? What if I try to train this way? What if I try to do that? Your mind is always going and it's always evolving, learning, trying to find a way to accomplish different tasks in the most efficient manner. If that's you, then you have what it takes. Last but not least, guys, if credible people think that you have what it takes to be great. Let me explain what I mean by that. Within my squad, like I mentioned earlier, I had 11 guys. Every time I sat down and did my counseling with those guys, I was their biggest cheerleader. I would always tell them, hey, you are going to be something one day. You have the possibility to be great. That does two things. Whenever those guys went places, whether it's a school or they went somewhere to represent my squad, they would always perform at the utmost level because they, one, didn't want to let me down, and two, they didn't want to let themselves down. 
right? If somebody's always telling you that you're meant for greatness, you're going to do great things. The last thing you want to do is give up on yourself and disappoint that particular person, right? So if that's you guys, you have what it takes to be a special forces operator. That was quick and dirty and straight to the point, guys. I hope this was helpful. Last week, I did a video about 10 signs that you'll never be special forces. I just wanted to reinforce to the guys out there that, hey, if you have these five signs, you can be special forces and not just put out negative content, guys. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.